Hi guys, welcome to my Etsy channel. This is Nancy from nancybadillo.com and welcome to another Etsy tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Pinterest board covers and also talk a little bit more about why you should use them. Um, if this is your first time visiting my Etsy channel and you want to scale your business to the next level, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I upload weekly videos and help Etsy sellers um, build a thriving Etsy business. So if you are new to Etsy or currently sell on Etsy, this is the channel to be. So let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. So I personally love using Pinterest um, as a way to drive tons of free organic traffic back to my blog and also to my Etsy shops. And I currently have six Pinterest accounts and I drive tons and tons of free traffic um, using Pinterest. And to be quite honest, out of all the social media platforms, including I use Instagram, I use Twitter, um, Pinterest, Facebook, the one that for me works the best is Pinterest. I drive more traffic on Pinterest if you um, combine the other three together, like Pinterest, um, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, I drive more traffic through Pinterest alone. So it, um, I will show you the power of Pinterest as well. Um, one of my pins that just went viral um, last month. So it's only been like a month and like four days since I pinned that pin. But it is a really great way to drive traffic to your Etsy shop. It's a great way to um, become like a niche, niche expert in your field. So if you sell wedding designs, um, if you sell, let's say, party stuff like invites, decoration, etc. If you sell jewelry, whatever niche you're in, um, Pinterest is a great way to separate yourself, create different boards of, of the items that you sell with a combination of other people's pins to kind of fill it up and also showcase um, what you do. And to give you an idea of how much Pinterest gives me traffic, I will show you the back end from my analytics dashboard. Now, in order to see analytics on Pinterest, you do have to have a business Pinterest account. So if you currently have the free one and you didn't do the business one, which is still free, you have to optimize it for a business account in order to start looking at your analytics and seeing how much traffic you drive back to um, your Etsy or a blog or wherever you want to drive traffic to. So um, when you go to the analytics, um, you have three sections. Um, usually how many people um, look at your profile daily. So I get about 16,000 people daily that look at my Pinterest account daily. And then it shows you how many people I reach per month. So I, at the current moment, I reach 239,000 people. It's actually a little bit more. It's 257, but there's always a delay on Pinterest. So it will take a couple of days for that information to update. And here, it will give me an idea of how many impressions I send daily, or how many impressions my website gets, and how many average people, um, viewers, visit my website. So on an average, it's about 5,000. And I'll show you one of my, my pins that I was talking about earlier. And this is one pin that I did back in December 15th. So it's, a bit of, it's been about a month in like two week a uh, week about because today's the 23rd and it's gotten 88.9 thousand impressions 559 people saved it to their boards and I've gotten 3,500 clicks approximately this is how many people clicked and went to my website so imagine if you could use Pinterest and drive 3,000 people to your Etsy shop for one particular product. So imagine if you put, I don't know, 10 different products and all of them get this much traffic. So this is the power of using Pinterest that I absolutely love. And I wanted to show you guys how to create boards because having these signature boards, um, in my opinion, 
um, it's a nice way to, to be cohesive and add your signature colors of your brand. So one thing that you have to do as a business owner is establish brand colors. And these brand colors, um, if you like my brand colors are pink, black, gray, and white. So those are the colors that I try to stick on, on social media, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, those are the colors that I try to always, always a higher buy. The reason why is because when you start establishing your brand, you want to have a set, a set tone of cohesiveness. That way when people see you in other channels, they could say, oh, that's Nancy from nancybadija.com. They'll start um, remembering you. And that's, imp that's very important when it comes to build building your brand. And the reason why I love creating boards um, covers is because it does take your business to the next level. It makes you look more professional. Um, not only does it organize your boards, it also helps you uh, not only increase your followers because followers are important on Pinterest, but what most important is having a pin that goes viral, a pin that people are repinning, people are interacting with it, people are clicking to go to the actual blog or, or website to buy those services or product. That's the most important part because once you drive the person to your store, then the next step is conversion for them to go ahead and buy from you. At the end of the day, the reason why you do social media, whether it's Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, or any any type of marketing, social media marketing, the point of it is to close out the sale. And you want to make sure that you do strategies that are going to help you drive uh, more traffic to your product and services. And I absolutely um, will abide that by adding these Pinterest covers, one, it makes you look more professional, and two, um, it, it looks nicer. Um, it looks like I'm a professional in my field and people take you more serious. And this is something that I absolutely think everyone should do. Once you have your Pinterest accounts established, once you have all your pins and you have different boards, you should always add a Pinterest board cover to stand out from other people. So when you have any type of social media platform, the biggest thing you want to do or the biggest challenge is how are you different from everyone else out there that does Pinterest or everyone else out there that does Instagram or whatever social media platform you're trying to win over. And in order to do that, you have to do stuff like this. And it could be tedious at times because it's more work to do. But at the end of the day, this is something simple that you could do. It literally will take you a few minutes to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. Um, you don't need nothing fancy. I, I did these with um, Photoshop, but today I'm going to show you how to do them using Canva, which is a free tool. So you could use any any editing tool like Canva. You could use PicMonkey. You could use um, Photoshop or anything else out there. Um, Canva, I think, is the easiest one, to be honest. Um, and they give you a lot of free stuff, so you don't have to really pay for anything. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to make sure is that when you create your Pinterest boards, you want to make sure that you already have all your stuff in there. So this is my Etsy blog. So it's already organized into sections and I have all my pins, etc., in there. So you want to make sure that it's organized. Once you have those boards and you have them set up that everything that is from my blog is here, Anything related to SEO is in this board. Anything related to logos in this is in this board. Any so you have to make sure that it's organized. Once you have that organization in place, um, all you have to do is if you go to Canva, um, you will create new dimensions. So you would do 564 pixels over 564. So you would do 564 and then type in 564, change this into pixel, and then create new design. So from here, you could pick any of the ones here. You could create from scratch, whatever you want to do. Um, it really doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this one. It's free. You could do any of these right here as well if you wanted to. And you could change out the photo to a photo that you might have or a photo of one of your designs or products. Um, I like the wordings, in my opinion. I think they look a little nicer. Um, this is a really cool one here as well, and it's free. So you could use this one actually if you wanted to. It just depends on what you want to use. 
they have so many different backgrounds that you could use or you could create your own like you could pick this one and let's say you wanted to change the background you could pick a different color you could make it all pink you can make it all that color if you wanted to if you want to delete that you could delete that um, it's up to you so I'm gonna make it all all pink so let's go ahead and change it all pink and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna type in XC blog and then here I'm gonna delete this and when you use XC um, Canva um, it's very simple like you could easily change the size of the font if you needed to to bigger you can put it this way if you wanted to you can make it a little bigger if you want kind of play with it you could drag it you could change the color of the font if you wanted to so you could do white which looks cute with the pink so I might do white okay and then I'm gonna try to center this oops let's see not working there you go that was user error it's not combo it's me so there you go so that's as simple as you could do it you could um, change like I said earlier the background you could do any of these here any of the any that says free you could pretty much use I'm gonna stick with the one I did um, which I deleted so let's go back and change it again so I'm gonna pick the background the same color I'm going to delete this, like I said earlier, and I'm going to name this XC Blog. So let's say um, I want to keep it like this, and I want to make this white like we did earlier. And I'm going to go ahead and center this, right, if I could do it. For some reason, you have to hover. Okay, there you go. So I'm ready to download and use this as a cover. So all I'm going to do next is I'm going to name the image um, because for SEO purposes, when you publish anything on Pinterest, you should name your image because it's an SEO factor and you could be found in the search results um, under pictures for that particular image. So I'm going to call it XC blog and then I'm going to download it and I'm going to do PNG. I mean, you could do JPEG as well. I, I don't think it really matters. I'll do JPEG. And I'm going to download it. Okay. And now I'm going to drag that file. I'm going to put it in my dashboard for now. I'm sorry, in my screen, my computer screen for now. And now I'm going to head back to Pinterest. And I'm going to change the cover of this one to kind of give you an idea. So I'm going to edit. And, oh, you know what? The first thing you have to do is add the pin. So you have to add it as a pin. So I'm going to add it as a pin. I'm going to drag the image and I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it XC blog and I'm going to give it a description. You should always give it a description regardless. So I'm going to, I already wrote mine out before I did this video so I could have it in hand. So I just put, are you an XC seller looking for XC tips and tricks? Visit my XC blog where I help XC sellers succeed by scaling their business to the next level. Click to learn more. So that's all I wrote. I'm going to put my XC blog. Now, I do recommend um, putting your Etsy shop, like the URL. Um, always, anything you pin that's yours, always put a URL. If somebody clicks on it, that's one additional person that goes to your to your blog or to your site or to your Etsy shop. So always do it. Don't ever pin something without adding a URL. And then I'm going to save it to the dedicated board that I want to use this as the cover. So I'm going to put it on the one that was the Nancy Badija, the XC blog that I want to change. I'm going to select and I'm going to save. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh because sometimes you'll go and you can't find it. So just refresh it. That way it's in there. And then all I'm going to do is I see it there already. I'm going to edit the board and I'm going to go here. It says cover. I'm going to change. Usually if you scroll to your left, you'll find it. Sometimes for some reason you won't see it. Or sometimes it's to the right for some reason. So just keep playing with it until you no longer could continue. Um, so there it is. Until you no longer could continue here and the arrow disappears. So after you select it, all you have to do is save changes. 
click on save again and there you go voila there goes your new XE cover so it's very very simple step to do um, as you see it took us like a minute to upload and even creating it it really didn't take us that long to do it and keep in mind that when you're creating this you could change this you could put you know um, XE shop could be one of your cover boards and then you could do another one another cover board and maybe that one will say um, handmade jewelry and maybe the next one will say um, you know depending on what you sell um, for instance for my party planning store I sell everything from wedding designs to bridal shower to um, children invites so all my boards are designated to that category so I have wedding invites and that's the name of the board then I have wedding signs and that's the name of the board then I have um, baby shower signs and that's the name of the board and then I have wedding sitting charts and that's the name of the board and then I add all my pins for that particular board in that in that actual board so that's how you kind of categorize it and fix it your as your own but it's a really really nice way to separate yourself um, from other Pinterest accounts and to have a nice cohesive look and then Pick out the colors that go with your brand and try to stick with those colors as, as much as you can. So guys, I hope that this tutorial was helpful and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you guys have any questions about this tutorial or about Pinterest covers or anything Pinterest related, leave the comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions um, that you guys have. And thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like comment and share this video. Take care.